So here's the thing. I tried to verify this and apparently world record zipline is a contentious title, but the website says it's a world record and the resort's in our backyard. So that's what we're gonna do for our anniversary. Midway, Utah is kind of like the quiet younger sibling to Park City, which is why most people probably haven't heard of it. But that doesn't mean it's not worth visiting because it is also home to the world's longest overwater zip line, which is why we are here. We got into Midway as fast as possible, got checked into our awesome hotel room, grabbed a couple bites to eat, and did our best to rest up for the next day. Let me just pause here for a second. Even though the zip line is the highlight of this tour, if you're going to make the trek all the way out to Midway, you're not going to just do the zip line. And you shouldn't, there's a lot of cool stuff. The Zermatt Hotel, which is maybe a touch dated, but the value to price ratio was just through the roof. And of course, Midway is famous for the volcanic craters, which is rightfully so. It's kind of a once in a lifetime thing. You should go try and do it. It's cool to swim in a volcanic crater. It just is. But I've got to be honest, save some energy for the zipline tour because three hours is a long time and it gets strenuous, especially if you're moving fast. And so with a good night's rest behind us and a belly full of donuts, we were ready to take on the keynote event. The tour began with a really good overview of how to do a zipline safely, and even though not everybody followed all of the instructions to the letter, everything went totally smoothly. Now, I just want to inject one more time because there was one moment that was actually terrifying. There was one other couple that was doing the full zipline tour with us, and we had been talking about all of the adventures that they had been on together, and it sounds like they were a really well-traveled group. In fact, I think they even mentioned that they've done other zip lines before, and so we were really excited to do this trip with us. But things got a little nerve-wracking about halfway through because the boyfriend sort of shut down about halfway through, and I don't know if it was elevation sickness or sunstroke or what, but he really was not doing well. They ended up sending up a crew to give him some electrolytes and try to get him back up on his feet and eventually did get him moving. But at this point, the group was a little separated and it was on the record setting platform. And I'm gonna be honest, it was a little unnerving standing that high and seeing what you're about to go down. And they were giving us the full rundown of instructions of how to break, how to maneuver yourself so that you don't catch your glove and you don't burn your hands and you don't come in too fast and just all of these different things to avoid serious injury on a really big zip line. And we hadn't had a problem following the instructions up until this point, but the girlfriend of the other couple, she'd had a couple incidences where it was clear that she hadn't paid attention to all of the instructions. And so I was standing at the bottom of the zip line and I can hear the instructor screaming, waving his arms. Stop, 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 use your brakes, use your brakes, you're coming in too fast. And they had warned us that if you don't brake right and you put your feet down, they've had people break ankles and potentially even fracture legs. And so we were sitting there frozen while she's plummeting in and the instructor's doing everything he can to get her to stop. And right when I thought it was going to be a moment of disaster, I realized this is not a course for professionals. They had plenty of safety measures in mind and she slammed into the springs and it shot her back out over the lake. And the instructor had to go fish her out because she didn't have enough upper body strength to pull herself all the way back in. And everything was fine. But that was the one moment that I was like, you know what? If you're gonna go down a world record zip line, you should follow the instructions.
dass wir He sounds like our three-year-old. She lives on fruit snacks. This is the worst kind of rope bridge right here. It's just like <laughs> Hey, yeah. you guys. Graceful. Oh, number one. You made it! Woo. Woo. Made it! Free! Freedom! To the yurt. The wildest thing about this room is that we are on the fifth floor, and this is the whole fifth floor. There are four rooms, <laughs> and ours is one of them. <laughs> so good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 